Hi everyone and welcome back. We're about to head into episode 10 of Theory of Love. We ended with Kai in front of everyone telling Third he loves him, but will Third accept it? Considering he was beating up his friend, um, I don't know if Third, after everything they've been through, is willing to open up his heart again for what he might believe now a false illusion. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share and if you want full reactions to this and other things that I have on my Patreon, I will leave a link in the description box below. And in front of everyone, remember that. Yeah, he's not interested in him. Yeah, this is why you don't listen to Shane. Him and his big mouth. They don't try and switch it around. At least he said it. He doesn't shy away. <laughs> okay, Shane. But is it win win though? Because it depends on how third feels. You haven't even gone to him after confessing. Wait for it. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Well, yeah, because he wouldn't have really known. I feel like after university, Third would have disappeared from Kai's life. What are we saying? I don't think he ever stopped. I think he moved on, but this just opened up old wounds. Wounds that never truly heal. Bye bye. Come on, that wasn't that bad. He did say he's got work to do, and the play is starting soon. I hear these two come. Because he's always like this. He's genuinely like this towards people all the time. Yeah, 
That's true. He uses his emotions and his heart. <laughs> you know he does. <laughs> I like what he's wearing bar the sandals, but I don't like sandals in general. Every white person in the world trying to use chopsticks. <laughs> yes, you are. Because he wants to spend time with just you. Because they were outside already. Well, they talked some sense into him and made him realize how he was being. It would be funny if his head got stuck. Yeah, do you see something? But is it the version you want? I don't know, he seems to be going the extra mile for you. Well, because of Kai, he's so jaded. Oh, that could be dangerous. Using too much of your heart or using too much of your brain. You? You <laughs> <laughs> So there's going to be a moment between them. I have to say this is how far the actor off has come. If you remember how terrible he was at this when they first ever got together. Oh look, he grabs him. I forgot how good of a kiss this is. Oh, oh, he went back in for more. Oh, 
คำตอบของกูอ่ะโอ้ฮิ้นช่วยตาถ้ามึงจัดห้องเสร็จมึงจะชวนกูมาดูหนังใช่ปะถ้ามึงจัดเสร็จแล้วมึงบอกกูนะเรามาดูหนังเรื่องนี้กันสิ่งนี้นะครับก็คือพระเอกกับนางเอกเนี่ยเป็นแฟนกันละแต่ว่าด้วยเงื่อนไขอะไรบางอย่างที่ทั้งคู่เนี่ยคุยกันตั้งแต่ตอนต้นเนี่ยทำให้เขาไม่สามารถเปิดเผยเป็นออฟฟิเชียลได้ Well, I think it's a good thing if these two, if they work together, not to tell people straight away because so much issues come with them telling people. Shouldn't you be taking notes in class? Yeah. <laughs> Is the UK the only country that doesn't use a whole container full of ice for their drinks? She's not happy. Just tell him. It's because you're not the object of his affection anymore. He was able to take your beauty because he saw every bit of beauty that you had, but now it's focused on someone else. What weight? ให้ผมช่วยไหมครับไม่เป็นไรครับขอบคุณมากครับผมโอ้คุณมึงมาช่วยถ่ายเบื้องหลังเหรออ่าฮะครับ and avoiding you is not just possible เป็นคนของตอนนะวันนั้นพี่หมายถึงใครอ่ะพอดีผมได้ยินพี่กับพี่เชนคุยกันว่าพี่โอคะเพราะว่าคนที่พี่ชอบเพิ่งคบกับแฟนพี่หมายถึงผมใช่ปะMm-hmm. True. Why? พี่ชอบผมใช่ป่ะตอนนี้มึงมีลีนแล้วอ่ะมึงจะสนใจทำไมวะ It's true that why do you care if you have someone? ตั้งแต่เมื่อไหร่วะ For a long time. ตอบมาดิพี่เงี้ยทำไมอ่ะตอบมาดิ See, third is not the only one who had a secret crush for all those years. So embarrassing. They've done a good job. Earth's done a good job with the character of um.
<laughs> yep, yep. Anything to get out of here. Bye bye. Every single time they've got a nice car. Every single one of them. <laughs> and Uma is afraid of the dark. <laughs> He's doing this pretty well, the idea of fear. Definitely a moment between them. <laughs> to be honest, though, there's nothing really to read into it from where she's standing because he just went to help him. But it is hard. She said yes to dating him, and it's obvious he's not interested in her. Yep, 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 yep. Does she not look like gum? I don't care what anyone says, she looks so much like gum. She's flirting with you, just so you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I like this, she's trying to flirt, he's just like, not interested. So that bike got fixed really quickly. Uh -oh. Seeds of doubt already there. Ugh. Yeah, grow up. I just, I, all I see is gun singing. <laughs> Make it 
She's got a nice voice, especially acoustically, or a cappella, in an a cappella sense. I don't like how they shift between her singing and Kai's reaction. Let's see them. You're lucky that she wasn't the one putting that together. She does, that's why she sent them to him. She knows exactly what she saw. <laughs> he really does look like that actor. Is it Chimon? Why would you have X, X, X where their name should be? I like that she gets drunk on it. looks like rosé. <laughs> and it's red. I think that's red. No, I don't think so. You can go away. You're trying to sleazily slide your way up to a drunk woman. No. Yeah, he just creepily just slid himself up there. Bye bye. That's not what he meant. Uh, uh, you can tell she's only thinking these things because of what her her fiance has done. Don't do it. That was episode 10 of The Theory of Love. I forget they ended on a cliffhanger. I really don't think Bone should be kissing Pat, not in the state that she's in, especially because once she sobers up, she'll feel even guiltier for everything that's happened, even though it's not her fault. She's not the one having an affair, but your mind always plays tricks on you to ease kind of guilt and ease, hurt and suffering. Also, I, as you all know, have watched this before. Looking back at the kiss between, I almost said off and gone, between Kai and Third, I didn't really like it the first time, not particularly. I, I found it a bit too wild and erratic, but watching it back, it's actually a pretty good kiss, considering where the actor off was and he wasn't particularly fond of kissing a man. He was, let's just say he, he was slightly adverse to men who 
are that way inclined. But seeing how far the actor's come and how much he's grown up and how much better his acting's got, that was actually a pretty good scene. And I forgot that that kiss scene for both of them was pretty good, including the fact that Kai, as they stopped kissing, in fact went in for another kiss, it's because Third pulled back. And that shows that I think the actors were in the moment. And as an actor, you don't have to be attracted to the person you're kissing, but you want to lose yourself in that moment so it feels authentic. Because when you are really with someone and you kiss them, and it's passionate, you know, you do lose yourself in those moments. We all do. And seeing when someone pulls away and you're still going forward is such a realistic element to it. There's a lot of drama going on in this episode. Maybe not for the main couple, you know, right now. There was elements of it at the end, which is understandable because of how Kai has been. Third is always going to be on his guard around other women because Kai by nature is very charming. And it's pretty clear that Xing Xing has an attraction to him and she's not even trying to subtly show him this. She is sneaky. You can tell straight away she is not someone to be trusted. And in the terms of Un and Tu, it's just, it's a bit strange their kind of sort of whatever's going on between them because Un's secretly harboring feelings and we, the audience, have seen Tu's increase in attraction to him. And Paul Lin is just in the crossfires. It was never his intention to hurt her, but also, I don't know why she would have read too much into him going to see how he was doing the light now. I guess it's because he must have run in there, and so she was shocked at why he would just run in there, but maybe she felt they were holding on to one another too long. But she picked up on the signs, which shows that Lin, as I've always said, is smart. Uh, Bone. Bone was in this quiet a lot less than probably we could have used. We could have used the character a lot more considering the whole aspect of Pan's fiance having an affair. That's pretty obvious. But I feel that will come into the next episode. That's why it's highlighted near the end. And I think the episode would be more focused probably on Pan, Bone, and of course, Kai and Third. I feel it's ramping up. There's too much happiness for the main couple and it always ends in friction before it's resolved. Thank you for watching. That was Theory of Love episode 10 and I will be back next week with episode 11.